Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Spiritual Justice Gem, Goddess Cleta, or you can call me Cleta, either one would do. I answer to both, like, share, subscribe, comment, please leave comment, <laughs> positive comments and feedback. Um, yeah, um, all my information will be in the description box below so that you can email me and if you want to, you know, you leave a donation, you can, it's down there, my um, cash app is down there. In the description box as well and likes share subscribers are very appreciated donations are very appreciated to help grow and build my channel and to basically help get more equipment for the channel and more um, oracle cards tarot cards all that great stuff is very much appreciated so I'm just gonna lay the cards down. I like to do this before the video, but um, sometimes I get a little excited and go ahead and do it before the videos. But I'm gonna do it during the video then this time so that you guys know I'm just not like making stuff up out of thin air. <laughs> ooh, 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 these are popping right out. <laughs> we got a karmatic in the building. This is still my ear, y'all guys. Somebody's ex or somebody karmatic. However, you want to put it. Somebody's a lesson. <laughs> um, let's see. It's here. They came out right in the first row at the beginning of the first card. So they they energy is up and through here right now. <sighs> somebody X, somebody karmatic, whatever you want to call it. Somebody is sitting back. They're in their head. Um, they feel rejected and lost. But they do see the toxicity they played in um, tearing you down. And that's a great thing. That's a good thing. Because once you see how wrong you are, let's see what they're going to do about it. Let's see if they're going to do something about it. Because I be having so much high hopes for people. Like, oh, they recognize it. They're going to do better. But some people don't. So... Yeah, this person realized how they became your downfall, like why you guys broke up or why this relationship didn't make it. And they see that they couldn't, um, it's some, something within them, they, they noticed that it was within themselves. And this this is a good the reading. This person is, tra is trying to change. They, they know it was something, conflict within themselves. See this card? It's a woman and a man. Um, it, it, they knew. Let me hold it up so you guys can really see it. It's disharmony triggers conflict. See, they knew that it was some kind of toxicity within them, and they're trying to balance it out because I have. They're asking the not only the ancestors but the angels, and they're asking the ancestors for help to break this they're asking both to break this toxic bond they're asking their ancestors and their spirit team the ancestors and the angels both to, to handle this conflict this this thing that um, was, is within them that can't that they that, 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 that I don't want to say can't, but that they lack or what they need to do. So they're they're definitely looking for divine guidance, and they're getting a, they're gonna get a breakthrough. Uh, they're asking the ancestors for a breakthrough. So this is their prayers because they know they have trouble um, forming um, solid foundations and structures. 
they know they have trouble doing that. They know. It used to be to debt do us part. Some people think that this is cute. This kind of contract is cute to debt do us part. They think that this kind of contract is cute, but it's not. It's toxic. It's toxic. Um, and they know this particular person that you love know that this is not cute. They see that this is not healthy. They're trying to balance out or communicate with spirit and actually forming these um, foundations. And they're asking for it in this autumn harvest. But I don't think that's going to happen. That's the, I don't want to be negative, but it takes a while to, to clean out toxic cycles and viewpoints and standpoints because you can see half of what you need to clean out or not everything and it takes a while of going over and over and over to clean it out and it, it, it don't take like one year, two years a lot of things that we got instilled in us take two and three years to clean up not just one not just one season not it, it don't sometimes it some people can do it within this time frame but i just i'm hearing it's unrealistic for what you're asking for it's unrealistic um what this whoever this person is is unrealistic spirit Uh, yeah, so it's about relationships, uh, maybe a friendship, a reunion. This is somebody you could have been friends with. You could have been, you could have uh, be engaged to. There's someone you spent a lot of probably your youth with. That's what I'm seeing here. They could have been a cancer. Um. I definitely got heavy cancer, a Libra, and a Capricorn. But basically, this person is disappointed um, about how everything worked out. They're um, they were they were really selfish, is what I'm seeing. They were really really selfish within this connection. They realized that. And they want to heal things. I have the star card here. They want to heal things. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to heal themselves. Because they really love you. They really want this connection. But loving someone and knowing how to love is two different things. How to love healthily is two different things. They see you as their partner. They see you as kind, happy, intuitive, faithful. They, they think you're beautiful or pretty. They know you're loyal. Um, so what I'm seeing here was some a high vibrational person with someone to basically, somebody, I won't say less to them, but with some, with, they were with someone who were the opposite of them. Like, you know how you get a lot of how they saw it, narcissists with uh, empathetic people and empaths with narcissists. This is kind of that the not dynamic. I'm not saying no one is a narcissist in this reading. I did not pick that up. What I'm saying is that using that as an example, someone who had maybe had this toxicity within them, healed themselves and cleaned it out or never had this toxicity, always knew their worth, you know, and then somebody that didn't know their worth, thought they did, portrayed they did, thought they knew themselves, and then within this relationship, it's hard them that they they have a lot of triggers a lot of um conflict within themselves they don't know how to form healthy relationships so this particular person uh one taught the other one is mostly i'm seeing a feminine energy here who were of the high was of the high vibrational energy um this is basically what i have on this on this in these cards is heavy libra and heavy cancer so you guys could have been a Libra and Cancer couple. Um, either way, take it how I resonate. You could be a male. I know this is a um, heterosexual relationship. It's a male and a female. So take it how I resonate, you guys. But um, this particular male, um, this 
uh, how, how I want to say it, masculine energy knows that they are toxic, know that they have some triggers, No, it's not like they was a worse person or a narcissist, they just was insecure about stuff and they were selfish and they see that. And they know that they got to change their ways and they're out there healing. They're asking the ancestors for help. They're receiving help. They're trying to get a breakthrough and under and break this um, toxic bonds and patterns and thoughts. And basically have a new beginning. They want to, to, to have this beautiful, like being a brave, being cur um, being beautiful, just, just being uh, in their authentic self so to speak like they were authentic but in a negative way they was on their shadow side now they want to be in their light side in their sun energy they want to to they want to basically be like you just not like you like everything you do but how you carry yourself how how you love yourself how you're caring and nurturing for others and they realized how selfish they were and it's um you were really a, a inspiration for this person, a lesson, a, um, and a favorite person, some type of um, energy. You you model behavior of what this person should have and instilled in them, but they didn't. So I say you are. Um, um, I'm hearing a model. You know how you get a model citizen. Basically, how somebody said, "Oh, I want to be like this person." this beautiful nine of pentacles energy i was already picking up this energy before you you see it i was picking up this energy before i even turned over the card they like how independent you are successful financial stable uh prosperous you are wealthy they like how hard working you are how you thrive and they like how you you have this zest for life they love this in this um and this is a beautiful sacral chakra slash uh, this energy is like sacral chakra slash um, solar plexus energy and they love how you blend the two together that's basically what the nine of pentacles is it's the sacral chakra mixed with the um, sun, the soul plexus chakra energy and you know how to flow through that energy very well and it really left a, a um, impression on this person that they want to change that they see that they were selfish that they see that they could have been better and they could have did better within this relationship. They see themselves and they don't like who they don't like it. So they're asking for a breakthrough, how to change it. They're going to the spirit guys and ancestors to um, basically uh, to form better patterns and better um, foundations in relationships. Let's see. Let, I'm going to get um, you guys a flower. Let's see what flower comes out. We got two flowers that came out. I don't know how to say the name at the top, so I'm not going to say it. But it says, Tick Seed. Always joyful. So, someone is always joyful. Someone is very um, happy. That's what I'm getting here. Like, somebody is like always the sun. <laughs> um, and scarce lotus enlightenment and somebody else is enlightened and that's basically what went on within this reading somebody who's happy and somebody who got enlightened on how to be this joyful energy how to be basically like this joyful person and that's good so the one that is um that's learning these lessons learned that they were selfish they have this scarce lotus energy and because because they are noticing and being enlightened on being a better person they're in an enlightenment stage this is their flower this is your flower the lotus the scarce lotus is your flower this is beautiful energy this is high vibrational energy and then the um tick seed always joyful this is this energy that this other person this divine feminine energy walks in this happy loving kind just independent energy she's not toxic she's not um codependent and that's what triggered this person to change and that's why i always teach that god is within you i am love god is love and i love god so if i love god and i'm a child of god then that means i am love too that i flow through love too <sighs> um for the person who um is learning that they were kind of they were they were selfish in these relationships and in their um 
um, patterns with relationships. They knew they see the problem. Um, your affirmation spirit is telling me to give you is that I am love and I am loved. I am dynamic. I am love and I am loved. I am dynamic. Say those affirmations every time you can think about it. Every time you think about, you know, you feel low about yourself or you feel like you're going to make a wrong decision or you don't have confidence in making a decision, say, I am dynamic. I am love. I am loved. I am dynamic. I am love. I am loved. This energy will transmute all that negativity, all that conflict within yourself. And then you'll start to see like your life and your thoughts in a brighter way so that you can have better solutions and not creating problems but solutions to the problems that arises that being said you guys i'm out peace